Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So we will be continuing our discussion on exploring LLM functions in Snowflake. Already in our previous video we have explored this embed text 768 using which we can convert any given piece of text to 768 dimensional vector representation and how to use this particular function in classification use case that also we explored using a practical real world project. If you have not watched that video yet, you can check the link given in the description box. Now today in this particular video, we will be exploring the complete function. And what it does, it basically takes a prompt and it returns a response that completes the prompt. Okay. So just like in chat GPT, we provide certain instruction, we provide certain examples using which we ask some question and based on that provided context, the chat GPT or any other large language model try to reply that same kind of functionality is provided using complete function in snowflake okay this function accepts either a single prompt or a conversation with multiple prompt and response and based on that it try to reply so now in this particular video we will explore how to solve a simple classification use case using complete function so you can click on complete and here are the list of models what the complete function supports okay and if you want to get the syntax of it you can click on this particular link it will take you to the example so all i need to do is snowflake.cortex.complete and then here model name we need to provide and the prompt we need to provide in the second argument okay if i scroll below here might be some examples also it might be giving like this way select snowflake.cortex.complete here model name they have provided like snowflake arctic which is default model created by snowflake itself right and here we are asking a question or kind of prompt what is large language models okay and snowflake will try to reply after passing this prompt via this particular LLM. okay so in simple words we can say we can consider this whole thing as a simple sql function and we can call within our select query itself right so this is how it works so let me show you the example of the complete function in a classification use case. So for this demo, here I am dropping a database if it exists and then I am creating that. And the database name is Snowflake LLM Fields. Okay. And suppose we are already having some data point related to queries from our users and the ticket ID associated with that query. So ticket ID kind of unique ID you can consider. So here I can execute that. I can delete this same query again. And here we are inserting some dummy data or dummy queries from our dummy user base to this particular customer query statement. Okay. So like for example, the first query is I ordered a laptop but received the wrong color. Can you arrange for a replacement? Thanks. So this is kind of a replacement related query, right? So the second query, if you see, I have noticed an incorrect charge of $50 on my credit card for my recent purchase. Please refund this amount. So this is refund related query. So like that way, we are having certain segment of user queries where we might need to classify a new user query. So for example, in our business, these are the possible four categories. One is payment related issues. One is delivery problem related issues. One is technical support needed. And maybe another option can be order modification related things. Okay. So whatever user queries will be coming that we need to segment or segregate among these four categories that kind of use case suppose we want to solve so if you don't consider llm that time you might need to have your training data set you might need to perform some nlp text pre-processing and then train some machine learning model and then use that model to predict the class for any unknown text right but using LLM, we can simplify the whole process. You can provide a prompt like classify the input text among these four possible segments and the model will try to reply. So that will try to observe. So as a first step, I will insert all these data points in this table. So here we are getting some issue numeric. Hello, this is not recognized. So I think here ticket ID should be string type. So I'll be just updating this. And then here, customer queries. Maybe this auto increment is not needed. Ticket ID, let us consider simple string. And here we will be having our insert query. And once it is done, here I can execute select star from our table name is customer queries. And then let's try to query it. 
So here you can see the ticket IDs are there which are in string, unique values and here customer queries are there. And now if you see here I have used the complete function to classify these queries into our predefined segments. Okay. So select ticket ID, then query text, these two columns we are taking, then snowflake for text complete, this particular LLM function I am using. I am providing a large language model name as the first argument which is Mr. Large 2, okay, which is having very good accuracy. And then here I am providing a prompt. Why I am using concat function, I will come to that later. First understand the prompt or the instruction. You are an agent that helps organize requests that come from our support team. The request categories is the reasons why the customers is reaching out. These are the possible types of request categories. One is payment issue, one is delivery problem, one is technical support, one is order modification. Okay. Try doing it for this request and return only the request category. Okay. I don't want any other text. I just want to get the particular queries belonging to which particular predefined segment. Okay. And here as we generally do that any prompt we can keep inside XML tags to give some importance to that particular part. So here I am giving the importance to our query request. Okay. So here request is the XML tag and then our request string is basically available within this query text column. Right. So query text column before that I need to append this instruction and then I need to keep this query text whatever is available in this cell and then I need to close this request XML tag. Right. So string concatenation I am doing basically. Before this query text, I need to put my prompt instruction and at the end, I need to put end of the XML tag request, right? And for string concatenation in SQL, we use concat. So I am using this concat. Okay. So this become our complete text along with instruction. Now that one I am passing via Mr. Large 2 and that response I am storing in fine tuned Mr. Maybe here I can give the name as Mr. Large 2 only. Mr. Large to model response. Okay. So here I am capturing the response. And because I have written here specifically that return only the request category, don't put anything else. That's why here we can expect that it will return among all these possible four values only. And then here from customer queries, I am executing. So limit 20 might not be needed. I'll just run this code. Okay. So here if you see, that we got the response here is the output if you check the first query i ordered a laptop but received a wrong color so wrong color means from the manual inspection itself we can say it is nothing but a kind of order modification related query right because i ordered something it is completely modified so order modification okay i have noticed incorrect chart of 50 dollar so it is a payment issue so here if you see my order tracking shows that the package has been delayed can you please provide an updated delivery estimate? So this is a query related to delivery. So that's why it is delivery problem, right? So here if you see the next one, the product I received is defective and I would like to return it. Please guide me through the return process. So this is kind of a technical support how to set up this return request in the app kind of technical thing. So it is technical request. So it is classified as technical support. Okay, right? So this way our complete function is helping in simple classification by just providing prompt properly. Okay, right? How we ask question to chat GPT. Same kind of functionality if you want to implement, you can take help of complete LLM function provided by Snowflake Cortex. I hope you understood this. Now you can play with this. The queries I'll be providing in the description box. You try to use this concept in solving your particular business problem and that will be understanding better out of it. When you will try to do hands-on, you will understand more. And I will always suggest you to go through the documentation to understand more about this particular Snowflake Cortex function. And obviously you can explore all these possible models, whatever is returning the highest accuracy, you can use that one for your business problem. Because it is not always like that Mr. Large 2 only will give you the best accuracy or Llama 3 8 billion will give you the highest accuracy. You have to do some key central experimentation to reach to the conclusion that what model to be used to solve your specific business use case. So this is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you for watching.